I do not enjoy this camera right now. Hello guys, so um, I'm back with another video after four, I guess, long days. So, um, yeah, um, what's been going on with me lately? Nothing, and it's Mother's Day, yay. Uh, what did I do for my mom? Uh, not much, I just got some flowers. Um, a card. Me. So yeah, um, I did a few things for my mom. Uh, leave in the comments what you guys do for your mom, or what what was Mother's Day like for you? Um, I guess mine was okay. So yeah, um, but anyway, let's get on to this stuff. I went to um, that Sunday sale. It's open now again um, because the sun's out, the birds are chirping, the, this thing. Me. <laughs> so yeah. Um. Anyway, guys, that Sunday sale's back on. There's a whole bunch of crap that I got today, and I'm going to show that to you. So anyway, guys, I'm going to start with these comics first. I'm not going to show the insides because, I don't know, it, it's just going to take up too much time. Um, I tried to do one take of it just a second ago, but it failed miserably, and yeah. So I don't, don't want to do this one again, so whatever. Um, anyway, right now, uh, I'm just going to show you um, some of these comics here. And then I'm going to show the big stuff at the end. Mm. So, um, the first thing I got here is Simpsons Futurama Crossover Crisis. Um, really cool book. As I said, I was not going to open it. But, meh. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, all the comics at that particular booth were a dollar each. So, I picked out a few. Um, I picked out that Simpsons one. Indiana Jones. Which is really weird. It says Marvel. Superman, I'll show a bit of this one. I mean, that's awesome. So, yeah. Even though you can't really see it because of my shitty camera. Um, then I got Raiders of the Lost Ark here. It's the first movie basically in comic form. I love how I said I was not going to open it, but I opened it anyway. Uh, and then I got this one, which is really cool. The Flintstones from 62. 20 cent giant annual, and on top of that, it's in black and white. That's so weird. Um, but yeah, so the next thing I have here is, um, uh, as you all know, I like some hockey. I like, uh, I like old hockey and that, so, yeah, there's this guy that has a booth there, and I found some really nice cards. I looked and was like, oh, God, I need those cards. Um, but yeah, so this was one of the cards. Well, this wasn't one of the ooh big cards, but yeah, I just noticed this because I I really like Phil Esposito. He's an awesome player, so I got I found that one. There's the back, and then I'm gonna quickly take out these ones. Um, here we are. So these are the big cards that caught my eye. All together, all the cards that I bought was fifteen bucks. So. Here's the first one, Phil Esposito. Why am I shaking? I don't know. My hands just like that right now. <laughs> so, ah, god damn it, I hate this. So, yeah, sixty nine seventy Phil Esposito card, all stars, really cool. And then the next card, um, it was in this plastic thing. I'll show you the card that I put in there in a second. But yeah, um. Bobby Orr. This was the card that was in that thing. And I guess it's well worth it. The only problem is that little dent in the corner and it's kind of bent up. Little scuff marks in that on it. Yeah, scuff mark. So, yeah. it's This one's really cool. Another all-star one. Really awesome. Uh, and yeah. So, let me just put these back in quickly. Hopefully I don't freaking, like, damage them. Shit. No, it's okay. Um... And then here's the other card I picked up. Um, I got this one's really awesome. It's Bobby's big moment. So yeah, that's really cool. I, I that I thought this card was really awesome. When uh, after 40 years, well since the 1940s, in that on that year, uh, since the Bruins won a cup. So yeah, and then here's Gory's big moment. 500 um, goals, goals. How do you like to say it? Uh, so yeah, there's the cards, all together, 15 bucks for those cards, and the card I put in here was, it's a really nice beetle one, that's freaking sick, 
<laughs> so yeah, um, a while back there was this person who had all, like, in this store, they had a binder of cards, and, um, there was a whole bunch of them, that's how I got a lot of my, um, if I could show you, eh, a lot of these 60s Batman that you see there, so yeah, you get the idea, and then I got a few Beatle ones, like the ones you see there, like I got that one, and that one, uh, that one, and that one, and I also picked up the Paul, right there, there, <laughs> so, um, yeah, this place, they had a whole bunch of really, really good shape cards, and then I found that one. Like, I, I already have it, as you can see right there, but this one was in really nice shape, and it is the best card of the set. I just couldn't pass it up. It's really good shape, you can see the corners are sharp. Everything about it, except for the little mark you can see there, it's in pretty good shape. Nothing on it. Number 49, so yeah, I put that card in it so it's protected, it doesn't get damaged. Then quickly, because we're running out of time, it's 6 minutes, I like to keep my videos about 10 minutes, so. Um, yeah, I'm going to show you something I got um, previous, before I went to the sale. Um, if you know the Partridge family, if you've heard of them, I got season 1. Don't really need to open it, I guess. Like It's, it's just, whatever. <laughs> Let me just take it out. Right so you get... Keith, Lori, I guess, I think that's Lori, and then Shirley, I forgot their names already, the two annoying kids, and then Danny, which is an annoying kid, and um, on the disc you get a, fr well, in disc 4 you get a free CD sampler, which I thought was really cool, because some of their songs are good, because they do songs in the show. Um, and, yeah, so it's really cool, and then the discs are just the, um, partridges, like, not the, not the actual people, just, like, the birds, like, as you could see, um, on the disc, yeah, it, like, on the discs, it shows, like, the partridge. Yeah, so, um, as you all know, I really like Jane, Silent Bob now, uh, Kevin Smith, all that good jazz, because I watched the comic book men, then he introduced Clerks to me, I guess, and then I watched Clerks. Well, the cartoon first, which was really, I liked it. The Clerks movie was okay. I really hate it because it's in black and white. Why, Kevin Smith, why? Colorize it. I don't freaking care. I want to see it in color. But, yeah, someday I want to talk to Kevin Smith and ask him why this movie was in black and white. But, yeah, so that's in black and white. And then the rest, I guess, were in color because he's just like, oh, I guess I got a lot of hate for that. So, yeah. As you see, I have all those other ones. And... There's a few other movies that they put out, like Chasing Amy, Mall Rats, Clerks 2, all those other ones. And today I picked up Chasing Amy. It, uh, I watch it. It's an okay movie. The stupid thing is, Jay and Silent Bob are only in it for like five freaking minutes, and then they're not in the whole film. Like, about, like, that's, like, say the movie's that long, the whole freaking film. They were about there, and then it, like, they were about here. Their part ended there, and then the rest of the movie, like, the whole movie from about there, uh, was just those guys, and then Amy, and whatever, and then, like, about that much of the film was, like, Jay and Silent Bob, and then the rest was, ugh. So, yeah, Jay and Silent Bob were in it, the, um, when Silent Bob's talking about the Amy story, I thought that was hilarious, um, but yeah, it's a really good film, uh, not a really good one, it's an okay one. It's shit compared to um, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. If you really want to see a Jay and Silent Bob movie, watch this one. This one's the best so far from I've seen. I want to see Mallrats. That looks really good. Um, and what did I pay for Chasing Amy? Two bucks. This, because freaking Valley Village is a rip-off shit place. This was six ninety nine. Are you Like, that's an okay deal, but, like, I wish they'd go a little lower. Like, five bucks is a fair price. Like, they should not try to, like, put, like, I don't know how to explain it, but, yeah, the problem is also on some videos, they put, or, I mean, some DVDs, like, if it's, like, Seinfeld, a sealed season, they put ten bucks on it instead of six. Or if it's, like, shit, like, a stupid thing that no one cares about, they'll put, like, five on it. Something that no one cares about, so. <sighs> I guess they price it by what, how popular it is, but anyway, here's another thing I picked up. Because this guy, he has a whole bunch of DVDs, and this was in it. Um, the Nutty Professor, the original movie by Jerry Lewis. This one, I thought was really, 
like, I remember watching it years ago, and the transformation, it scared the freaking shit out of me. So, now I watch it now, it's an okay movie. Uh, the transformation is actually funny, it's not even scary anymore, obviously. Um, so, yeah, um, he gets bullied on a lot, the, um, Nutty Professor, and whatever. I don't want, I don't want to explain it, but if you've seen the Eddie Murphy one, that one's really good too, so... Uh, and then here's a disc. Okay, guys, we got two more things left, and then I'm done. Um, next thing I picked up, as you all know, I'm a fan of Michael Moore. And, um, today I picked up Sicko, one of his really good documentaries. I really like this one. Um, how America's, um, healthcare sucks ass. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Nothing really special to it, just the disc and everything. It's just, yeah. So, it's a really good um, documentary. The, the best one out of all of them is obviously Columbine. That one's the best. Second, Sicko, obviously. And then Fahrenheit was okay. I, I liked it. So, yeah, that's them. That's all the stuff. And now for the big two items. If only I had Terminator music, or if only I can edit it in. I hate this freaking, com I hate this camera, this tablet. But anyway. I guess that's the Terminator theme. Close enough. Don't judge me. So yeah, it's the big exclusive Terminator box set back in 2002. <laughs> no, not 2002. Like, yeah. Wait, what? Oh, this box set's from 2000. <laughs> so yeah, um, there's the side, the back has the T-1000, it's loaded with a whole bunch of bonus features, and then, let's take it out, so, um, there's the front, Arnold, I'll be back, I'll be back, so yeah, there it is, and the thing that bugs me is on the side, it doesn't, like, have, um, the thing, so, like, it doesn't sh say Terminator, so, what if I don't want this cardboard, and I just want this, I would have to, like, cut that off and put it on there, so, yeah, anyway, the back is the same thing, I want to hurry up, because time's really running out, um, and, yeah, it has this little booklet, which is really cool, Not nothing special, it just has a whole bunch of photos of, like, T-1000 and everything, uh, this is the most hilarious thing. Dear DVD fan, due to the advanced features untitled in the creation of this DVD, some players may experience minor navigational di difficulties. This should not affect your enjoyment of the feature program in any way. For any questions or comments, please write to this address. That's hilarious. Ha. Huh. <laughs> so, yeah, here's the disc. Hopefully this will um, upload because we're at 13 minutes now. And then here's the bo bonus disc. I know it was upside down. Don't judge me. And how much did I pay for this? You probably won't believe it, but a buck. I paid a buck for this. But yeah, this guy at the table, I guess he didn't know what he had. Um, he had, like, th that guy was awesome, though. Um, those Flintstone comics and that, the, the comics I just showed you, were a buck each. Like, that's not a bad price, but... He should have loaded, but they're, they're all ripped up and that, like that. Obviously, it's ripped up, but yeah. So, this is the last thing. I want to hurry up. 13 minutes. Let's finish this bitch. Yeah. So, if you're a fan of the 66 Batman show, do 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 like, DVD items to get right now, um, because it, it was, it's a TV movie and that, and it didn't do so well for some reason, uh, like, it was only on for, uh, like, <sighs> shut up, I got this, <laughs> it, like, it was just on TV, a little short period of time, and then it was done, um, it was only like a little quick TV special, and then they put it onto this DVD, and then after a while, it's just gone, so. Yeah, it's it's quite hard to find, actually. And Adam West and Burt Ward are in it, yes, obviously. And then it shows flashbacks to some of the stuff that happened behind the scenes, but it's played by whoever those two retards are. Not Adam West, sadly, obviously. So, yeah. 
And then also there's Catwoman and, um, oh, what's Riddler's name? Oh, I feel stupid now, but, yeah, Riddler's in it. <laughs> the original Riddler. I'm trying to remember his name, but, yeah. So it's got this booklet in, nothing special to the booklet. No, 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 no. And then there's your disc. So, yeah. This DVD's worth about 100-something on the net, from what I've seen. I'm not saying that's a price, but yeah. And guess how much I paid for this? A buck! Yes, a buck. You heard me. So yeah. Guys, I hope you like this video. Um, if you do, give it a thumbs up. Um, share it to your friends and your chickens and your grandmothers and your fathers and your sisters. And, your aunt. and also, um, yeah, uh, I, like, I, I could make these videos longer. I Hopefully this uploads. Um... If I could get a few more subscribers, that'd be great from you guys. Like, I ho hopefully I could get up to at least 20, so maybe I can make longer videos. But, yeah. Um, so, guys, I hope you enjoyed these videos. I sure do. <laughs> I'm the one who's making them. Um, but, yeah. So, anyway, guys, I guess I'll see you guys later when my next video happens. Goodbye.